How to trade on the stock market using Questrade or Investor's Edge. So uh, this is my daily routine. Usually before the day starts, I look at things to buy or things to sell. So if I go to Yahoo Finance. So right now what I'm looking at is I noticed Intel dropped pretty hard today. So obviously that's a good stock to, to buy. Intel's not going anywhere. It's a manufacturer of chips of so many products, so it's not going anywhere. And it dropped today for whatever reason. You can read in the news which, for which reason it dropped. So right now it's trading at 44.27. 44.29. 52 week high is 47. So I would wait until it drops a bit more before buying. 52 week low was 33. So maybe under 40, under 40 I'd buy some. Uh, let's see what the one year target estimate is, 47. Let's see what uh, the analysts on uh, Investor's Edge say. INTC. So 39 analysts say buy, buy, 12 month target 47. So it seems like a lot are agreeing that it's a buy and 12 month target is 47. But if you buy at 44 and sell at 47, and that's the expected, it's expected to reach 47, but so not not enough uh, not enough room to make a profit. Unless you wait longer, <laughs> unless you wait longer and it goes above forty-seven, but I would wait before buying. Maybe I would, I'd wait until it reaches forty. So let me show you how to place an order, either on Quest Trade or uh, Investor's Edge. So I've I already have some orders I think in Investor's Edge. So let me just cancel them, and then replace them. So I could, so you could see how to place orders. So here I have. HP uh, Hudson Bay. I'm just going to cancel. I'm just going to cancel so I can replace them. I wonder if there's an option to cancel all orders. Hmm. And as you can see in question, I don't I don't have any orders placed. I have twenty five hundred USD ready to use, but I'm still looking for things to buy. So I, I try not to get rushed into buying something. I try to buy. I think timing is very important. Buying at the right time at the right price. Sometimes you want to be you're eager to participate in the movement, so you buy too early. So it's important to be patient when you buy and of course when you sell. Not to panic when the, when the stock goes down. Either buy some more or wait it out and then wait until it goes back up. It, ha it has happened to me many times. Where I, and I think in one of my videos I showed that I bought something at 17. It dropped, the next day it dropped all the way to 5. And I, I held on to it I think for 2 more months and it, it went above, it went back up above 17. So it's actually, it would have been a good opportunity to buy some more at five, but I, I wasn't sure what's going to happen. So I was just patient. I, I held on to it. I waited and it went above 17, sold it. I think I sold it at 18. So small profit, but still, still a profit. <clears throat> 
All right, so INTC, it's on the US exchange. So I could either use my Questrade account or I can, because I think it's in US here. Yeah, I guess I'll, I'll place it on my US account, so on my Questrade account. So INTC, 44, I wanna, I'll place an order at 40. So if in case it drops at 40, I'll, it'll execute automatically. Now, do I think it'll drop even lower? Let's look at the chart. So yeah, I would place, I'll place an order at 40. But I have a feeling it's gonna drop below 40. So let's just start off with 40. So uh, how much cash do I have? My buying power is 25.35. Remove $5 or let's say $10 trading fee. So let's just use 2,500. Divided by, I wanna buy at 40. So that gives me 62 shares to buy. <clears throat> So once I've looked up the stock, I can click on buy and I get the order entry here. Automatically gives you 100, but I don't want to buy 100. How much did we say? I think we said 62. Yeah. So 62. Order type limit because I want to set a price. If I don't, if I leave it on market, it's going to buy at the current price, but I want to set a limit. I, I want to give it an order to buy only if it reaches 40. And the duration of the order, good till canceled. Buy. So there's a confirmation, buy 62 shares of INTC at, at the price of 40. 62 times 40 gives me 2480 which I, I have enough. With $5 or 495 trading fees. And I'm gonna have a remaining $50 to buy, uh, buying power in my account. I could probably make it 63 to use everything I have. Let's make it 63. 63, limit 40, good till canceled. Buy, see, now there's $10 left, perfect. So, 263, 40, 25, 20, 495, perfect. Buy 63 shares at 40, send order. So now, go back to my account, orders, You'll see here accepted by 63 it hasn't been filled yet when waiting for the stock to drop any time between there's no limit the duration is good till canceled so if it drops tomorrow below 40 it'll buy automatically okay so that's set for my quest trade account all right so let's look at investors edge how to place a how to place an order so I've got some things that I want to sell actually so Exxon Mobil I want to sell it at 80 I bought it at 81 I want to sell at 86 so I just if I already ho hold the stock I just click on it here click on sell it, it brings up an order automatically it tells me how much shares I have so 10 I want to sell it at 86 good through with the investor's edge, the max you can uh, hold an entry or place an entry or place an order is 30 days. So I want to sell ExxonMobil. I have 10 shares. I want to sell at 86, good through 30 days, and it, it'll get deposited into my USD TFSA account. Next. Another, just another window to confirm. Sell ExxonMobil quantity 1086. Submit order. Trading fees with Investors Edge is 695. So if I go to view order status, you'll see my new order. XOM 86, sell 10. Oh, it's been filled already. Let's see what it was trading at. I thought it was trading below 86. Yeah, 
that's a mistake on my part. It was I, I was already above eighty six. So that's a missed opportunity actually, because I should have I should have looked at what it was trading at when I looked this morning it was at eighty five. <clears throat> so I missed out on fifty cents times ten shares. Ten, so I missed out on five dollars. Because I didn't check what it was trading at currently. So let's go back to uh, order status. Let's go back to order status just to see. Curious to see what it got filled at. Oh no, it got filled at 86.49. Okay, good, good. So I didn't miss out on anything. So yeah, so this is stock that I bought at 81. Sold at eighty six forty nine right in front of you, <laughs> which is about almost seven percent. But I've been collecting dividends from that stock also, so it's a profitable trade. Okay, what else did I want to? What else did I want to place an order on? So let's look at my holdings. New York Mortgage Trust. I actually wanted to buy some New York Mortgage Trust. If it drops to six, uh, let's look at uh, my Canadian TFSA, Canadian Holdings. So yeah, this I want to sell at fifteen. This I want to. I could keep this. I'm not sure yet. This I already have an order to sell at fifty three, and Hudson Bay, I want to sell at fourteen fifty. Seventy four fourteen fifty bid through so sell HPC seventy four order price submit order. Let's look, at, let's look at the order status. That's in Bay and so I already have Enbridge here that I'm placed an order on to sell at fifty three. Ranch and Bank of Canada that I placed an order to buy at fifty two. Let's see what it's trading at right now. Trading at fifty six thirty, but it keeps it keeps dropping uh, slowly. Hopefully it drops to 52. Let's see what the one year estimate is. One year target estimate 22. That must be a mistake. 52 week, 52 week range, 51 to 62. How could the one year target estimate be 22? That has to be a mistake. Let's look at what uh, the experts on uh, Investor's Edge have to say. LB. Reports. Morningstar. Fair value is 55. 11 analysts say hold. Buy. Recommendation by yeah any bank if it goes down it's still it's still a recommendation to buy so Hudson Bay Commerce Novus this I'll place in order to sell at fifteen. So 
to sell CD February 2nd, order price 15, quantity 75. Okay, account information. What else did I want to sell? So this already have a, this I guess I'll keep, Commonar. Intel dropped to 43.95 as I'm making this video. So another stock I'm watching is Trivago. Here, let's look it up. Little disappointed because I was watching it when it was at 685, but now it's at uh, now it's trading at 724. So it's gone up since I've been watching it, and I didn't buy yet. I was hoping that it reaches 650 or even lower. One year target estimate is 8.83. Let's look what the experts in the reports in Investors Edge say. Hold Morning Star Fair Value eight forty four. So it's trading below its true value. So I'd place an order on Trivago but below seven. And if I don't get it, well then I'll look for another opportunity. So let's do that first. T R V G. So here it is trade. Let's put, uh, I would say, say my balance is 2,900. Probably put uh, 1,400 or maybe 1,000. Okay, so let's say I put 1,400 divided by 6.5 because that's how much I want to buy it. So that's 215 shares. Six point five. Buy. Pay from my USD account because it's a US. It's on the US stock exchange. So from TFSA, buy Trivago Market US, quantity two fifteen limit price six point five. Good through February 2nd, pay from USD TFSA account. Currency in USD 724, yeah. So next. And submit order. So where's my, here's my Trivago, Laurentian Bank of Canada, General Electric, yeah, that's another stock that I want to buy. It went up again today, but it was dropping below 17, but it didn't. So yeah, I'm still, I'm still following it, waiting until it drops, uh, I think I put an order of 14.88, probably increase it to maybe 15 or 16, but uh, wait until it drops. Oh yes, and definitely another stock I'm watching is Bank of Nova Scotia, 81. Estimated one year target is 89, 52 week range is from 73 to 85. So I I would place an order on on that stock, maybe at around uh, 70, 77 maybe. So let's see if I already placed it or not. No, okay, so let's place it. So go to quotes and research, look up the stock. It's trading at 8177. Click on trade. Pay from Canadian. So I have 2177. Yeah, I probably put the whole amount in in a bank stock. So two one let's remove the uh, trading. So two one seven zero trading fee. Divided by, uh, well, let me, I'm still hesitant which price to buy it at. 
Yeah, 77. Yeah, 77. I'm good. All right. So where's my calculator? So divided by 77. So that's 28 shares quantity. 28 shares at 77 price. Good through. Pay from my Canadian TFSA. So buy Canadian 28, 77. Next. Since time is gonna cost me twenty one fifty six or twenty one sixty two with the trading fees, and I have twenty one seventy seven in my account. So buy Bank of Nova Scotia twenty eight shares seventy seven. All right, submit order. So that's how you place an order on uh, Investors Edge and on Quest Trade. Pretty simple. So I think I used up 1400 from my, I think I'd buy some New York Mortgage Trust. Let's see what it ha what they have to say about it. One year target 6.17. But why I like this stock is that it pays 12% dividends per year. So I just hold on to it and it pays me dividends, which is pretty high. All right, let's see what. Uh, what they're saying about it. Reports. Fair value is 5.83. Wow, that's not good. <laughs> that's something else. Yeah, fair value is below six. Wow. That's not comforting. Let's place an order of 5.9. Wait, let's just see how many shares do I own of this already. Account information, account holdings, USD. I own 175, so about $1,000 US. Let's see what the news is. Oh, it's going down because it's paying out it's, paying out its dividend, that's why. I'm gonna place an order at 5.9. So I think from my US balance, I have, um, I used 1400 for Travago, right? So where's Travago here? All right, so trade. So 29 is my US balance, but I used But fourteen hundred. So, so let's place an order of fifteen hundred. So fifteen hundred divided by five point nine is two hundred fifty four shares. So two hundred fifty four shares at five point nine. Buy. Pay from my USD account. So buy NYMT US two hundred fifty four shares at the stop at five point nine good through February second USD TFSA next. So that's about fifteen hundred. Submit order. So let's look at my order status. I got New York Mortgage Trust, I got Bank of Nova Scotia, I got Trivago, and I've got Laurentian Bank that I want to buy, and on Questrade I've got Intel. Okay, pretty confident with that. So that's how I trade on the stock market, that's how, to, how you place orders on Questrade or Investor's Edge. If you have any questions, please place them in the comments, any feedback, I'm open to all feedback, positive or ne negative. And uh, please look at the links at the bottom of the video. They might be, they might interest you. Thank you.